Hello, everybody. This is really nice to see so many people. I'm kind of blown away. Sorry, I had to run off for a minute. So, oh, I'm okay. Thanks, Angela. Good to see you as all. Yeah, just quiet day, I guess. Kind of got that artistic shadow going again that Cody likes, I guess. <laughs> it's just me. I don't go too crazy with the lighting, but maybe I can switch it over a little bit more. Uh, I like the other one looked like a little bit more of a interrogation room for a while. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? We were going to go on tonight, and I don't know, Xenia's not feeling well, and uh, Audrey left for camp, and lots of things to do. <laughs> I'll leave it to down the rabbit hole. I just went back and seen, by the way, your comment of making it on time. Like I say, sorry, it's nothing too exciting or formal. I'm sorry, Reese. I didn't mean to make you feel that I think that something bad happened to her. My apologies. DR Outdoors, how's it going? As you know, without Xenia, I'm not so good at the chat. I'll try my best. Something important, just repost it. <laughs> you guys aren't scammers. <laughs> um, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, I'm not worried if you post something again. I missed you too, Steph. I really missed you guys. Oh, Angel, God almighty, that's amazing. I'm glad you have your granddaughter with you. That's that's great. A little good cop, bad cop. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> how you doing, T-Throg? Terrell, my man, how are you? Hope all is well. Good to see you here. Yeah, I'm, I, like I say, our schedule's pretty loose. I think... Actually, before everybody uh, starts, you know, some people are in and out and stuff like that. Uh, uh, oh, well, In the Woods with Wolfie. Good to see you, my man. How are you? Farmall, what's going on? Found an old, uh, my, uh, I want to cut my hair where I, uh, we were on vacation. She's got all these old posters up. She had an old Farmall poster from way back. I was thinking of you. Yeah, yeah, Andrew, they got a lot of energy. Yeah, it is down the rabbit hole. I mean, for a Saturday night, nothing planned. I couldn't ask for any more than this. God. Same as the other night when we came back. Like, I mean, to have 35 in was... At one time, we would have, like, uh, been freaking out for days to get 35. So that was really cool. Uh, it means a lot. You know, everybody says the numbers don't matter, and they don't matter. But it is nice when people miss you as much as you miss them. That's what's really great. Mm. And we miss you guys lots. Um, so, um, probably Monday night. I want to do a big shout out night again. Get some more channels noticed and stuff like that. Wonder what you guys think of it. Um, I was hoping you guys can, if we do do it, you guys can ask as many of your friends to come as possible, just so we can keep a fresh group in. And maybe have a good one, like you know, like we did the last time, seven to eleven. The numbers were fantastic, and lots of people really bumped their channels up like that. Um, and you know, seven to eleven, we get to cover some different times. And by doing the game way, everybody seems to stay in more. So uh, we, do, I do find that's working better. I know it's been the odd uh, discrepancy with somebody feeling that they didn't get their number called for, so they should have been. We try to do that to uh, for to keep it as fair as possible just nobody we want to favor i want all he is to grow and i still believe even if your name isn't called still people are checking out channels at the same time so oh teeth rogues any might join us in a bit uh her fibromyalgia has been pretty bad there with that trip was pretty hard on her and you know she's still trying to kind of gain back her strengths and stuff so that's why we were supposed to go on tonight, and then she wasn't feeling that well and stuff like that. And I'm one of those ones when something's on my mind, I kind of got to be doing something. I'm not good left to my own devices, so that's why I decided to come on for a couple minutes and hang with you guys. Oh, firm all <laughs> You're crazy. You don't have to do that. We just put that on. I'm not even th thank you. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Good night, Shay. What's going on? Nice to see you. And Farmer, once again, so kind to you, but not necessary. But you are way, way, way too kind. Thank you. That was just funny, just more fun to see. Yeah, we're monetized. I mean, still, you know, straight things ahead. Like I say, we might do something more with Patreon eventually to try and uh, just get a few things for the channel, like maybe some uh, better mics or something like that, and then maybe do some of Xenia's prints. So I, I don't know yet. It feels really weird because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. How you been, Night Shame? I missed you, man. Such an excellent guy. I love this guy, how he grows, and he's just still one of the most amazing supporters to everybody in here. I catch him in live stream after live stream and just treats people like like gold. I love it. It doesn't matter if they have 20 subscribers or 20,000. He always treats them well. Well, do you guys as well? You know, we do. I've always said we get the cream of the crop in here, so you guys are the proof of that. Uh, thank you, Reese. This is we appreciate it. Yeah, we got the email the other day when we were on vacation. Didn't take very long either. Literally, I think it was we applied for monetization, if I'm not mistaken, the week of or the week before we had our channel taken down. So it wasn't that long, maybe three weeks at the most. Just kind of surprising. Yeah, Farmall, exactly. Might do PayPal as well. You know, we'll think of something. But like I say, it's not the main focus. The main, uh, none of us are getting rich off of it and stuff like that. <laughs> Sticky buds, you're the resident of the crop, my friend. <laughs> I love you. How you doing, buddy? Weaves World, hey. Oh, you did? Oh, very cool. Now, I don't know, did Xenia see it? Because we were on vacation. Well, vacation. Taking care of that house. And um, I'm just opening up your channel, and I'm going to check that out after. I do want to see that. Uh, so we basically didn't have any internet. Um, the internet even around there is satellite based. They're supposedly now running all the new fiber optic through. Finally, after all these years, uh, even to get a cell phone call, I got to walk to the end of my driveway. So I wasn't exactly connected, but I did miss a lot. But thank you so much. That was very nice of you. Hey, Gregory, how you doing? been a while how's everything my friend nice to see you ATGH, how you doing oh god you guys always know how to make somebody feel welcome it's so like i said we're still kind of on vacation mode but i think monday night is going to be a shout out night so i hope you guys are interested into it and we don't ask for much i'm not like you know we're not hounding for money we're not hounding for getting people all the time tweeting out but it'd be nice if you guys could bring as many friends as possible because it would be nice to have a really big night that night. Get everybody's channels growing some. You know, if everybody can bring, you know, five, even ten people from each of the channels, I mean, we could have a crazy night. The most we had was, I think, 55 in the chat at once. It would be nice. It would be nice to have uh, even more Defem singers, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. So good to see all you guys. We miss you a lot. Like we talk about you guys. Uh, I've always said you guys are like wrestlers from the 80s. You all have your own individual personalities, you know. And that's what's cool about seeing you. It's uh we are a family. On the up no, I've done something that I've always wanted to do well i'm kind of halfway there let me show you i finally took the big big plunge this is something i've been wanting to do for a long time and hopefully it all works out Let's see here shared screen going this Yeah, I mean, I won't double it, actually. 
This is the computer that I ordered the rest of the parts for today. It should be ready by the end of the week. And this, my friends, the editing station of the gods. Well, for consumer end. But I'm really happy with it. This is definitely the most I've ever spent on a computer. But editing is going to be a lot, lot, lot easier now. I'm very excited to get this set up and get it going. I'm waiting on the processor, which I just should have bought today. I don't know why I ordered it from Mike from Amazon, but waiting on that. I'm waiting on the two sticks of memory, one solid state, uh, one well, one solid state, one M2, one 2.5, and I'm waiting on the power supply. One other thing. Oh, the case. Case, yeah. <clears throat> this thing should kick some ass. And of course, I'm doing this at one of the most expensive times there's ever been to build a computer as far as RAM goes. But anyways, it could be down. I'm sure if because I'm buying this now, the RAM should go down next month. So if you're buying a computer in the near future, you can thank me. If I hadn't bought it, probably would have never gone down. But yeah, I'm really excited for it. Especially this video card. Because I got the GTX 1080 Ti Mini. And that I'm really looking forward to. Can you believe I paid $930 Canadian for that? And a couple of months, well, not a couple of months ago, what, a month and a half ago, that thing was going for $1,800 at Newegg. Crazy. Thank you, crypto mining. But yeah, no, we got the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, 8 core, 16 thread, excellent processor. I got the mini motherboard, got the uh, G Skill, uh, uh, G Skill Ripjaw 32 meg, uh, 3200 DDR RAM, 500 gig M2, 1 gig uh, solid state 2.5, video card. Case I changed, I'm not going with this one, I'm going with the Thermal Tank, uh, thermal tank uh, Cube. Power supply's a, a small size, 100, uh, 150 millimeter, 750 watt. And of course, friggin' Windows 10 that I finally have to jump onto. The rest of my family are using, but I avoided like the plague. But I guess that's it. So that's a lot of money that I haven't sp ever spent on a computer. So. But I am excited. I'm always like that. I'm one of these ones that's always guilty anytime I spend money, even if I desperately need it. Hmm. Yeah, I know. In the woods, in the, I know Wolfie. <laughs> I've never put a full computer together. That's one thing I've never done. I've I've done things from the motherboard up, but I've never done the full thing. So, but I mean, really, it's kind of like Lego. It's not as uh, hard as they make it out to be. If you can watch, I mean, especially we're always saying. YouTube videos, they walk you through step by step. And I mean, everything is just kind of plug and play. It's like an advanced version of Lego. And it's going to be a good size, not too big. So if I do go back to the gas bay and stuff like that, I can take it with me, which is what I wanted. That's, that's the whole reason by doing a small form factor. It's weird with the motherboard. You actually pay a premium for the mini version that has doesn't have all the options of the big one, but that's nothing new for uh, for buying anything in the computer realm. It's all good. Let's see. Uh, like I say, guys, there's not much. But I do want you to think about Monday. Really, really, really want you to think about it. Love to have you guys involved into it. Love to... Um, uh, have a really good turnout if we can. That would be really cool. You know, everybody wins on those shout-out nights the more people we got. That's the nice thing about them. It's not just for us, it's for everybody. There's the size of the case there, so. It's, I mean, they do make them a bit smaller, but this one's still workable and still easy to pack. So I think that's going to be really cool. I had to go get the parts this morning just after I took my daughter to uh, get on the bus, so I wasn't really into it, to be honest. But, like, 
Well, whatever. Whatever. Gotta get it done. It's hard because my oldest son can't. My middle son has gone so But just something about my youngest daughter, I'm finding extra, extra hard. And it's not just missing. I mean, I'm hoping, you know, you want them to be safe. You want everything to go well. But it's also just the, uh, I don't know, she has this energy to her that just fills the house. I, I don't know what it is, but she definitely makes the house feel so much brighter all the time. So, so it's definitely big. <laughs> Oh, wow, HGH, yes. Oh, it does happen. I got a server here with uh, eight three terabyte hard drives and then a two and a one and then a 250 gig SSD running it. And um, the motherboard is an AMD from 2010 that I had my original computer and I've, I got to upgrade it. I, just, I know it's, it's already kind of starting to heat and die on me. And it's gonna come so oh thanks t throw you're too sweet i'm not much for pictures but yeah that is one of my favorite ones of audrey and i together audrey's been in so many pictures that you know <laughs> she's uh, naturally the photogenic one she's our go-to girl whenever we need a model in a hurry she's uh She's the one way. Oh, speaking of server going down, I think it overheated. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just checking for a second. No. Oh, it's still good. Why can't I access it though? Hmm. That's really weird. Oh, huh. I can access everything but our Pooch Studios one, which isn't good because that's where everything we have is stored. Okay. Oh, I see I'm missing everything here. Sorry, my computer froze and I tried to use it. Well, that's excellent. Congratulations. Well done to him. Tell him to have a glass of water and do it a second time. It's, it's one step closer. What's our future goals for the channel? Hmm. Good question. Um... Hmm. Well, I mean, Xenia and I have been talking about it a lot. That was something we discussed a lot, actually, when we were home. And I don't know. I really don't know right now. Um, we got some ideas, some things I don't think I could talk about right now because we still haven't decided on them. Um Definitely want to up the quality into it uh, for the next season. Um, get a little more set up. Like, not turn it into some gaudy looking, like, pretend studio or anything like that. Just a bit more. Uh, that's why we're saying a lot of them maybe do, like, through um, Patreon or something like that. Uh, some prints, stuff like that, and try and raise a bit of money. So that way we can buy some, like, a couple of decent mics, mixer, like, nothing fancy, just something a bit better. And yeah, sorry, there's somebody making some weird noise up there. Oh, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, I know what it is. I didn't think I could hear them on this side to make that well. Um, Montreal has its international fireworks competition all summer, that's what's going on. 
yeah in the woods yeah yeah i miss it a lot <laughs> i miss the old uh wall color when we painted that wall color like i just was seeing xenia like uh with burning eyes i hated that color so much but then once we put the pictures up and everything then it really worked and felt like really like a homey place but Very nice, ATH. You're well set up. Good stuff. And Relic Sim Play seems to be having trouble with the internet. That's too bad. Sorry to hear that. That always sucks. <laughs> oh. And Re, sorry if I didn't answer your question fully. Like I say, everything is just kind of. And I'm kind of worried about that, that I can't access our main server for all of our stuff. Ooh. I see what I might be doing after. Hmm. Funny, because all the other hard drives are available. So I hope not, because that's where all my work is sitting right now that I've done in the past and all my uh, raw footage and that, which I am setting up soon to run through RAID that would be backing everything up. But you know how that goes. Good intentions. <laughs> Just not... Uh... Oh, Andrew, no problem at all. Oh, I'm honored to be on your TV. Not a problem. Just good to have you here. Like I said, nothing too fancy. It's just kind of, I don't know. It was just nice to get on with you guys and talk for a few minutes. I'm going to restart our server. See if that helps any. Hmm. Because that does concern me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Wolfie. <laughs> that's right. It's all gone to my head, my friend. <laughs> oh, like I said, there's not a whole pile was the tongue, but I think I was just kind of hanging out with you guys a bit. Thanks for taking my mind off of everything. And like, she was so excited to get on this morning. And uh, yeah. It's, she's fine. It's just because it's her. She's my baby girl, and I don't know. Just she's always there. So I find it a little hard, but she's got a great time, great experiences, and she needs this. Like this is important uh, for her, especially because next year her brother goes to uh, high school, and she won't uh, have him around. Like you know. So it's good for her to get start getting more independence. Then you had put this together today. One of those YouTube automatic, uh, automatic uh, collage videos. I realize you're not getting sound because uh, I had to restart the server computer and it's all running through the home entertainment system. So, hmm. bottle caps, what's going on? And she's like that most of the time. She doesn't have a lot of downtime. She's always got that kind of bright. Hey, Jaded, how are you? Good to see you too. Good to have you in. Like I said, nothing too fancy going on, nothing too exciting. Kind of hanging out for a few minutes. Hmm. Oh, did you, Angel? I'm honored. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you guys are too funny. You, you guys crack me up. <laughs> Now, let's see. Okay. Now, I can't see our hard drive at all when I restarted. But that's okay. It might be just a loose hard drive. <laughs> I 
I, I'll go back and see it. Uh, the one about forgetting uh, little people? Oh, my God, almighty. First of all, we're not going to get famous. Second of all, bottle caps. If somebody could forget you, <laughs> they got a lot of issues going on because I don't know how anybody could. So I wouldn't worry about that one too much. No. I could never forget you in a million years. <laughs> You know, and I mean, I don't think about it a lot, but the one thing we did say is if this channel like ever really grew big, we would like to set up like a one with just you guys, like, you know, under some alias or something like that. And always like just have this, even if it's just once a week to set up with you guys on a smaller scale. You forgot all about your bottle cups? You knew them back then? You had a quick rise to fame, nine months. Nine months to get one million subscribers. You guys heard about it by now already, but that was crazy, wasn't it? About Cody Wanner. I'd like to get to do the video. Uh, anybody who hasn't, Cody was a guest here a couple of weeks ago with us. Let me pull up his channel. Let me get his channel up here. It was. Uh, Pretty crazy story, actually. Uh, Peter did a B-roll challenge the other week, and uh, this girl, uh, Audrey, decided to enter it, and she made this video. She's in New York City, and Cody Wanner is in uh, Philadelphia. So they, uh, she decided to splice the two together and make like a quick montage video mixing the two places together. And that was all great, and they got seen. He it was one of the ones he picked to show and critique and stuff like that. And um, that was all good and well. But then everything went a step further, and uh, ended up uh, Peter was checking out some of Cody's work. There's Cody's thumbnail right here in the middle. And he invited Cody up to, uh, up to do a video with him. So you remember, and we actually talked about it that night with Cody, because Cody's pretty driven. And I was saying, you know how I'm always saying to you guys, like, you know, always put your best foot forward because you never know when things could take off. And uh, man, did it do it for Cody. Let's see here. Here's Cody's, oh, that's stupid plugins. There's Cody's subscriber count. And what, two days ago, he was at 2,800? And now he hit eighteen thousand three hundred and fifty-four. He only started. He only started making videos January first. So it just shows that anytime anything can take off unexpectedly, and uh, Peter did a video about him on his channel and vice versa with Cody. And I mean, he was already doing good. You know, four thousand here is a thirty thousand one he did with uh, Casey Neistat. That's been on for a little bit. But now he's hitting 10 and 27, like just one day ago. 10 in 40 hours. So it just shows you anybody can have their break. You never know when. Hey, Aaron, what's going on? Good to see you. Sorry, but like I said, without Xenia doing the chat, I'm kind of back and forth on this. So, guys, we're still thinking about Monday night. Monday night doing a big shout out night. Maybe three, four hours, possibly. Love to have you guys there. Same thing. Get your channel shuttered out. And if you can bring as many friends as possible, five, ten of your friends that don't usually come. The last time we did it, I think, was our most we had, or the time before, we had 55 in the channel at once. And, you know, we never dropped basically under 40 except for maybe 10 minutes. We went into the high 30s. So the more that's in there, the more people are seeing channels. And let's maybe we can give everybody a good shot in the arm for their channels that night. Because even if you're in there and you don't even get picked in that time, uh, when we do a lot of channels, I think the last time we did 21. And by doing it with that game, I know Bottle Caps loves the game that we play. But for the most part, it keeps people into it. And it also keeps people around. Because when you make a list and say, okay, you're number 10, you're this or that, people always screw off and then come back after so uh, it would be cool to kind of get back into things on Monday night with a really big uh, shout-out night. Grow all of our channels. Give them a good shot in the arm. Actually, the one channel that doesn't grow very well is usually ours. 
So, but I love seeing you guys grow. It's great for us. I mean, it still helps with numbers and it helps you guys. So, uh, if you guys are up to it, uh, it'd be really fun. I, I, it's probably one of the funner things that I love to do on here. And I mean, we're so lucky because we get to see so many amazing channels that otherwise we wouldn't get to see. Well, that's great, ATGH. Definitely. Uh, we're, uh, I love doing live streams and uh, just the ones to break it up now and then and do those shout outs are a lot of fun. Just something different, you know. Between them, sorry, I got a text here. I just want to check. Uh, okay, hang on one second. Just one second, folks. We got a guest coming on. We have a guest coming on. I just need to send a link here. Do 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 I thought it was a text, but it was a message. Oh, I guess we will have a guest after all tonight. Mm -mm. How's it going, Puppet Gut? It's good to see you. How's everything going up there in Maine, my friend? We almost went through Maine the last time. Good thing we didn't. This truck broke down and it would have cost me a fortune at 30 cents extra on the dollar about <laughs> love the states but yeah the dollar has not been so favorable for us the last year so six in the mix what's going on good to see you we still might go to the states this summer still thinking about it but i mean then you got to kind of travel a little cheaper than we usually do I know I have a buck to pick, a bug to pick with me. What's going on, bottle caps? What's the what are you gonna pick with me? What did I do? Are you mad with that uh, Piper uh, blush is gone? Or did I do something really serious? Sorry for her. I feel bad for you and Philip Cockrell. I know you guys are missing her immensely. Put up some of her famous moments, though. So that was cool of her. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, if a person is good enough to leave a nice comment in your video, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, Bottle Cast. I am sorry. See, somebody heard your name and had to join. <laughs> Hello. Can't even Hello. hear. Hello. There we go. Live from Studio <laughs> East. I forgot to put my lipstick on as I usually <laughs> do. Bottle cap, you just came in time for bottle caps giving me shit. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. If you see if you that's see. as bad. <laughs> Let me see the chat here. Oh hello everybody. Okay. Okay. Am I echoing on your side too or just in my ears? Is it what? I hear an echo. Is it only on my side or it's on your side too? I don't hear any echo. Sorry. Right. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Lucky I was putting a lipstick on. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am lucky. You figured it out for me. <laughs> okay, now. I think I, I hear you and I think I can see the chat now. 
There, I'm guest on my own channel. That's right. How fun, how fun is that? Okay, so now I'm ready to center on the chat. Hello, everybody. It's Saturday night. What is everybody up to? Oh, just sitting here talking, just kind of shooting the breeze. <laughs> That's right, Teeth Rock. Teeth Rock was just asking about you a while ago. What we're asking where you were, so. Yeah, so I'm now your guest. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I can't control anything. I'm under a different account, so, uh, you know. <laughs> I can mute the wife. <laughs> you can mute the wife. You can also maybe uh, give me a mode. Otherwise, I don't have one. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Why? Just don't screw around. <laughs> I'll be watching. I'll try. You. I'll try. I could be the only one without one. It's this like everybody so, new comes in. It's like, why? What's going on? This is so mental. <laughs> it's like my parents. Well, my parents have a desk in each corner, and they play uh, Facebook. They have their games, and they go on each other's like with their accounts to uh, like get the either, the other one free points. Like my father always plays casino games. My mother, I don't know, whatever. And they don't like switch accounts. They literally get up and cross the room into each other's chairs and then play their games and then go back. A bit like that. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, we are on vacation mode, so let's do it a little bit different than we usually do. So, uh, thank you, Wolfie, for putting me on a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. I love it. And I'm sorry, bottle caps. I know. I know. It's. Um, it's been hard. The heart thing was a hard thing to get used to because I don't like it. I really don't like it. But we got to the point where we just, and I hate saying this because then it sounds like bragging, but literally the comments were coming into the point that we would live stream six days a week and then I'd spend 14 hours on Sunday just answering and replying because I don't want to reply without watching something as well. And um I'm trying to get better at that. I, I wish uh, just the heart is at least to recognize it. And I do read it, but because uh, it does bug me. It's not something that I like. No. So I do apologize. I don't like doing it. But uh, it's just hard at this, some points. Like, that's what exactly I've been. I think we can both say, like, with the week off, well, week off, we were working pretty hard. I wouldn't exactly call it like a vacation. Week off live streaming, I would call it more specifically. Yeah, yeah exactly. Thanks, bottle caps. You're always there for us. Maybe you're special for Piper bottle caps. Yeah, you know she doesn't answer everybody. She answers you and Philip. I know. And the hardest part is when you got kids, and that's what we realized like the last week. You know, we're still going to keep doing it. We're going to find ways to do it better for this season. But like, it's also not just for the. Um, for the stream and everybody here, we love you as the pieces, but also to find that balance a bit more with our kids and stuff like that as well. Also, let me bust your bubble. Uh, bigger channels have other people doing stuff for them, including yeah. writing comments. That's exactly it. Most times and you're not most of the time. Them. Exactly. So, mom might not be Piper. Like, you might be to Piper. Kind of mods here. There they have like an idea of theory mods, but they're set up and, and they do all the answering for them. They, they, yep. Not just there, they uh, YouTube, they do their Facebook, they do their tweets, everything. Exactly. Uh, so, might be a man behind that Piper answer. I don't know. <laughs> might, oh, be, yes. <laughs> might be a Jim from Oregon. That's saying, you know. Yeah, just saying. Just keep that in mind next time. And it does have, and a lot can even, they, there's even businesses that they can outsource to that take care of all that for them. Yeah. Like they even do all their subtitles for all their videos, plus the. So a lot of times then it's outsourced into like India, Pakistan and places like that. It's exactly six in the mix, you know? <laughs> and two, if they're like, I don't know. I mean, some do answer still, but I mean, most people that get that amount, they usually pretty much... Like, look at a lot of them don't even put the hearts anymore. Like, don't even or bother with that. They just kind of let them go. 
I work. think also because we have live streams, uh, it's it's kind of in a way is that interaction part. If you don't have yeah. lives and you post videos, well, you you are missing that active interaction part, and your comments section becomes interaction. But since we are doing the lives, uh, then the interaction mostly becomes in in them, right? Uh, so I think it's different if you do have lives or you don't as well. I still love his comment though. Piper and her twin sister do everything by themselves. So I absolutely I don't love you, Bottle Caps. I adore you. <laughs> I can always count on you. <laughs> well, good stuff, Opal. Well, you can always message. Send a message in Twitter if you have any questions about Twitter. <laughs> we can help you out. It'll come. Well, send me uh, send me your uh, name on Twitter since you said that your own was stolen. Like I can't find you. You we gotta connect first in order to. <laughs> it's, it's true. In the ATGH, you're a hundred percent right. You're a hundred percent right. And it was hard to let go. Like I did it what four hundred four times, and then would go back a couple of days later out of pure guilt. I'm just like do all my nights like till five in the morning and Xenia two answering. We'd break them up sometimes and meeting in the middle, like because we'd watch a video as well at the same time. So we're we're trying our best. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, uh, Steph Opel, there is a link on our for our Twitter. So just click on that link; it will get you to our page on Twitter, and uh, on the I think it's on the right. Um, top part is a follow button so just do that and then, then i'll find you after it pam you have an excellent night thank you so much for coming and don't forget monday night monday night is going to be a big shout out night so it is friends all together yep tell me about it probably from like we did the other night from 7 to 11 a big one want everybody to try to invite all their friends give a couple days notice and we can all kind of grow our channels there and what are we going to do on it? Shoutouts. Games. How is your shoutout different from any other channel? Oh, you're interviewing me. Okay. I'm <laughs> <gonna respect you. laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Their ball caps are making threats at down the rabbit hole again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. I still believe the game one works the best because it keeps everybody in. Like the retention is unbelievable. And the numbers don't lie. Like we look at it after in the control room and you can see that it really holds on for so it helps everybody out. I don't know. That's how I roll. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm glad you can roll in for a little bit. It's always great to have you. How are you tonight? We were doing, it was pretty good tonight. I'm surprised for Saturday night, no planning or nothing like that. Nice group. Yeah, when we were on a 13 day road trip, uh, felt so bad not watching everyone's amazing videos. Is there also exactly ATGH? Like, you know, and it does, there is a lot of guilt in all of this, especially. I think that fades away a lot more once people get to the high numbers because they just kind of accept the fact of where they are. But we're kind of caught in that purgatory, you know, starting to grow, but still, which means a lot of channels to follow. And I do want to follow them all. There's some videos I'll find like a month later. It's like, how the hell did I miss this one? It's amazing. Well, also got to remember that we have other social media too, which have to be handled, you know, and that yeah. takes time. Like I only got to the bottom of the Twitter notifications from the time that we have left today. Yeah. Uh, you know, and we have been home for a couple of days, so it's uh, you know, it's it's not only YouTube, it's it's also Facebook a little bit less, but still. But Instagram and and Twitter, especially Twitter, uh, you know, there's also there's as well personal message, you know, like DMs and comments, and somebody posted a video for you and things like that, and I obviously want to answer because it feels even more, uh, you know, directly. Um, focused on you. 
when when it's um, when you get tagged in in something. So I only got to the bottom of all of those notifications today. That's just a couple of days later from us being home. So you know, I'm gonna take that into account too. Bottle caps, especially. Uh, you know, you're most well. You're mostly on only on YouTube uh, because of your <laughs> put install your. Twitter account and you refuse to do a new one, but uh, yeah, it, you know it's 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 different avenues have to be have to be handled and also like during the summer now we're also preparing for our season two we're figuring out uh, uh, you know the monetizing part the merch part uh, also what we can offer uh, for free uh, for our loyal fans and uh, like different add-ons as well uh, as we uh, have guests that. We plan on already like i said i have probably uh almost a month's worth guest list that i have to schedule and so it's it's uh, you know it's balance balance ever since say joey posted a video about balance it's my favorite word now so um uh, balance And yes, I agree. It, it's it is pers it gets personal and very uh, friendly. You uh, you know, I, when somebody has their life struggles or things happening, you feel them the same way as you would for your friends. You know, and I don't like saying online friends, but you know, life friends. Uh, I know Millie and Ashley had their. Um, yesterday i think was a problem with uh, their flights because they're trying to connect together for the birthday of millie and um i felt really bad for them so i tried to help to find the the, the cheapest fare so they can uh fly to each other and spend millie's birthday together you know um i'm not doing it for the channel it's because i felt as a human you know bad for for her and I would do the same thing for any friend here. So obviously it, it becomes a different level of relationship for sure. I was just checking. We still don't have any, I uh, uh, can access the uh, server hard drive for Pusha. <laughs> Were you on it today? No, uh, no, no. I was on the personal only. Yeah, because I'll have to check it after. It's probably the connection got loose. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I was right. editing pictures and... Uh... Now that you were on, I decided to take that moment and run over and start checking it. So, And uh, we didn't announce it tonight. We didn't say anything about it, but our dear friend, Farmo, was our first super chat, which he didn't have to do. Oh, my God. Well, thank you. I really didn't have to do that. I wish uh... it was like a business where you could frame it, like, you know, in a... Like they do in like a an old laundromat or something. Somebody took it over. They would take their first dollar and put it up on the wall. Yeah, and please, guys, remember that twenty five percent of what you donate 30. goes to YouTube. So we don't 30. want you to waste your money, please. Thirty, I told you. Thirty. Yeah. Well, even worse, thirty. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's there. Like I it's said, we're gonna probably set up something with Patreon, so yeah. and PayPal, and Feels do something in exchange. You know? It just, I really, yeah. But uh, I mean, it's up to you. But as I said, yeah. it's uh, just keep in mind that uh, thirty percent off. Very, uh, very, very nice of you. Thank you. Good soul life. How you doing? What's going on? How's it? How are you guys all doing tonight? Anyways, I have there are a couple of new ones in here. This is the last time I asked. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys are having a good summer. I hope uh, having lots of family time. I hope YouTube is also going well for you. This is a hard time of year, guys. You'll notice your numbers dip some in that. And always remember, there's lots of people on vacation and stuff like that at different times. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. So Definitely. But it also uh, makes you rethink your strategy of the uh, posting your videos, uh, which for those of you who do post regularly their cinematic videos, uh, you should rethink the strategy for the summer. As we were talking on our uh, last video with Rand Jams, I uh, should uh, focus more on people who have who have winter now. Yes. Uh, so uh, look at the time zones for people, you know, in Australia and New Zealand and that part of the world uh, because they have winter now. 
winter, but it's still winter. So they have spend more time by their screens, much more than our part of the world does now. So when you plan your scheduling for the summer for video release times, keep that in mind and focus more, more on that part. ATGH, have an amazing time tomorrow. Have lots of fun. Thank you for dropping by. And don't forget Monday night, big shout out night. So the way to kind of jump back into everything and tell all your friends, invite as many people as you can. Yeah, ATGH, we're going to go with PayPal probably as well. Like I say, we're working that out. So that's exactly right. That's great. That's, that's, hey, it's working in your advantage. So perfect. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's because it's directly, uh, you know, linked to the weather. Like Instagram doesn't suffer from it for, because people scroll through their phones all the time, even probably more in the summer because they're sitting in the middle of the nature and instead of looking at the sunset, they just look at their phones. But YouTube is a bit different story, so. I just laugh at bottle caps here. <laughs> Patsy! Patsy, what's going on? Good to see you. That's how, how I roll. You? Have a good weekend. I can see it better than the other night when I was on. Oh my God, that was all. That's how much we missed you guys. That was like my eyes were watering. My, my eyes were like all skin on my forehead and my face. But it was still good to be back with you guys. But I had to do more of the reading. Uh, I got off and my eyes were just like finished for the rest of the night. <laughs> Puppet got Hello. Yes, from public I was in a while. Good to see you. Yeah, I haven't seen you for a while. It's uh, uh. Oh, you're off. Uh, you're off, Wolfie. You take care of yourself. Have a great night. Thank you so much for coming by. Don't forget Monday night. It's uh, it's Marty that is going. I think now. Uh, down the rabbit hole. Oh, okay. Is, Sorry, uh, I got that. Okay. Oh, good night to the little bunnies. Okay, I, this is going. I looked from the side. Oh, only Claire Jones. Hello. Welcome. Well, I'm glad you could stop in for a few minutes. And hope you have a great night after you leave. And it was good to have you here. We're, um, I just made you monitor. I hope you can join our channel. Stay in touch. Uh, Monday night, we're probably coming back with a big shout out night. So it'll be a good time for you to get to meet everybody in here. It's going to be very hot in Montreal on one day. So prepare for hot and sweaty. Yep. Last day of the. I forgot all about that. <laughs> I forgot just... all, but it was Monday. I was thinking Sunday. Yeah, oh. it's going to be a heat wave, <laughs> grand heat wave. Well, that's great, Bottle Caps. Congratulations. Excellent. Good for you. Well done. Oh, only Claire. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we had that was a great video. That was our last one before we left with Rand Jams. That was a, they were amazing. That was a really great night. Our channel. Was, oh, go yeah. ahead, Doug. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, I just was going to add to what Bottle Cap said. Uh, do you know that when you join the partnership program, you actually don't have to maintain 4,000? Lots of people think that they still have to maintain that every month to month, right? Like the last year in order to uh, keep the partnership program rolling. Uh, but that's actually not true. Uh, once you get your partnership, uh, it, they don't look at months to months. Like you have to uh, be uh, posting fairly regularly, so to say, uh, but they don't count uh, the, the hours anymore. So just saying. Uh, sorry, hon, I'm back in front. I'll pass it to you for a sec. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, hmm. It's very hot in New Orleans. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I'm not. I don't like hot. I really don't like hot, and it's way too hot. Uh, we escaped um, last week after five days of it, and thanks God, so many people died here in Quebec because of, uh, and I'm sure in other places too in, in Canada, 
because of the heat wave. And um, in Canada, this weekend is actually really weird weather because I seen the a thunderstorm and, and big hail watch in Manitoba and Alberta. And there is um, a tropical storm coming on in Nova Scotia. And it's quite uh, quite an interesting mix. Tur uh, Toronto has a heat wave warning, so. Yeah, stormy. Yeah, I was looking at the like this size hail uh, on the videos in Manitoba was on. So, oh, welcome back. Six in the mix. Yeah, uh, I I tend to watch a lot of uh, YouTube um, base videos, so to say. The actual like YouTube headquarters videos and their you know, their blogs and their like you know like get information from the source so to say and uh, they update it fairly fairly uh, often so it's 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 good to know some things because uh, you know some get things get mixed up in the mix so I would rather rely on the source information so. Um, yeah, I don't know, Steph, how you're doing it. Yeah, it's super hot. I love fall here and spring, but unfortunately spring here is only two weeks, so I can't really enjoy it on this side, but it's okay. Really, really pleasant weather in Maine. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's hot, and it's going to be a hot summer apparently, so not good. Uh, good night, Claire, and thank you for coming. Come again. Monday, we're going to have a big shout-out night uh, where you have a um, screen time for you. We play a game, and if you win, you get a screen time for your channel. We talk about YouTube channel optimization strategies and uh, things like that. So a little bit interactive, a little bit educational. So come back on Monday from 8 to 11. Probably 7. 7 now. Okay, so from seven. That's what I said. To that might change. Well, I'm only a guest, so I don't really know. From seven. Especially, like you said, I forgot all about the heat wave, but. Yeah, we're going to be like, it's going to really, be interesting. Like those old, old evangelist channels there, you know, we're going to be all sweating there and still like, come on, come on, let's get one more going here. Yeah. Well, weather in UK has been surprisingly well recently. Yeah. Well, that tropical storm in Nova Scotia is uh, going from your side, guys, there. It's kind of turning around now. Um, our summer seems to be starting later and lasting longer here in past. Yeah, that's true, too. But uh, here in Canada, especially Montreal part, like in this part of Quebec, spring is non-existent, like literally two weeks. And it's like, there's snow and then two weeks later it's plus 25 and everything is green. So it's literally every year, ever since I've lived here, every year I just uh, amazed about how it happens like that. I can't get used to it. Oh, I got our... Uh... Our, our, uh, our, um, push our hard drive back on the server. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, did I do a hair different color? No, it's the same color. It just uh, got uh, faded out in, in the sun uh, when we were on our vacation. It's the same color that I had when I said that I painted, painted it, dyed it with henna, the natural product, henna powder. Um, so it was more reddish and it also washes out in time, like, because it's natural. So it doesn't like when your roots grow out, it doesn't look, uh, as uh, drastic because it washes out at the same time too. And sun, our daughter's, uh, hair is like bleach blonde now because of the sun. Mine used to be like that too in the summer, especially because of salty water in the sea. We would go swim there when I was a kid and salt got on your your hair and bleached it even more out and so just have like <coughs> white, white hair. Later on, I used to do it on purpose, just dive under more. So there's more salt and bleach is more, 
looks like highlights. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, it's just my own hair. My own hair looks like highlights a lot. Like before I actually did henna, if you look at my, uh, like our earlier videos, you can see uh, my own hair is highlights, <laughs> my own color. I just, I don't know, I want it reddish every so often. Busha needs a mascot. Yeah, like a dog that. or a cat definitely not cat because uh andrew's a dog person for me like uh i i really don't have a preference i, I enjoy them both uh i think we could uh, mix together a squirrel and a bear what do you think andrew that's quite the concoction <laughs> <laughs> we could ask doodle to make a squirrel bear yeah or bear squirrel Jeez. see what he comes up to oh my god almighty yeah, I think that monkey uh, probably would be <laughs> the do. do <laughs> yeah, Doodle by Dogs uh, made monkey uh, of ours, uh, the portrait of ours. That would be a mascot. A Komodo dragon. Why? Thank you. Yes, Rob, a fish. There you go, my friend. A fish, yeah. He, Rob, I love watching him. He's always, always on the craft beer pours chats, and he's got this. He's the the best guest that doesn't say barely anything. There's just he sits there all cool with the aquariums and on his phone the whole time. I absolutely love it. I go half the time just to watch him. I think it's so amazing. <laughs> uh, two little monkeys with a wind up camera. This that would, be, <laughs> that would suit more. And a dragon because they're cool and they can eat people. <laughs> That's so cute. Well, since it's named after a place in Latvia, and there's only one animal that comes to mind anytime you talk about Latvia as a hedgehog, I guess that would be the only. Yes, that would be no, but we could do a a, a bear squirrel, uh, <laughs> a bear with a tail or something. Uh, Steph, yes, burnt veggie. Vegan pizza, yes. Oh my god, how many times you burnt it while watching us. I remember that. That was fun, yeah. Hello, Combs. And yes. Rob, I noticed you added aquatics part to your uh, yes. channel. I was complimenting him on that the last time. He's got some really cool videos, guys. If you haven't checked him out yet. A bear squirrels ran rampant in Wolfie's woods. Dress me up as a hedgehog. That would be interesting. <laughs> I like that you guys are up for anything. Yeah. Okay, so Opal is going to be hedgehog. We're going to dress her up. Who is going to be bear squirrel? Oh, Because Arizona, Wolfie is going to be a dragon. Arizona Timeless Tourist is here. Sorry I didn't see you before. How are you doing tonight? I hope all is well. Is yes, that Hello. Like I say, nothing too exciting tonight, as you can hear by the chat. We're kind of just doing a low-key thing. Yeah, we're uh, not really doing anything. We're on vacation mode. Our daughter left for camp, and yesterday I did a little live stream of her and I out watching trains and talking and that. And Xenia last night was fooling around and made a two-second video, so I decided to delete it because people kept liking it. And... It breaks my heart because it's not a video that ever make money or anything, but I went and accidentally deleted it today. So I sent, I didn't know Xenia did it at the same time I did, but we sent off a email to our, um, to the YouTube rep to try and get it back. Supposedly that does work sometimes, but I feel like an absolute piece of trash for deleting that. So. Well, I feel bad because I fooled around and I couldn't re I couldn't realize after how to delete it. Like I actually tried deleting it yesterday, but I couldn't. And uh... no, but that was my I, I just was come back and had a lot on my mind, and I shouldn't have even gone into that. And I just did it without even thinking. I because it was the top video, of course, in the completed live streams, not in videos, and just not thinking went and deleted it. So. Oh, well, hopefully they will get it back. And then, as yeah. I said, you, usually they do because it's in their archive. So, uh, Rog, yes, a bat. <laughs> Andrew yeah. with a broom and a bass flying. That would be yeah. our mascot. No, thanks. That's right. I forgot about it completely. Six of the Mix, you have a great night. Thank you so much for coming. And like I say, hope you can make it Monday night. 
it's going to be hot as hell. So if you want to watch a real spectacle going on, I guarantee you're going to get one. So it's either going to be hot and sweaty or all the fans are going to be on at the same time. And yeah, it's going to sound like we're inside of like an old flame <laughs> workshop. Yeah. By the way, guys, can you hear the fan that's running right now? I bet they can't hear mine. I have headphones on. There you go. <laughs> but even if you have headphones on, it's not that that's picking up the sound. Your mic. I know, but it still reduces it because I'm talking right here into my microphone. No, they don't. I got a new dead cat for our mic. Like I say, we got to get proper mics because we're still using, which is a good mic, the Rode Pro, but it was never made for uh, doing live streams. But as you can see, this, the new dead cat is really working well because there's the fan right beside it. Maybe that'll be our mascot, the dead cat. Dead cat? Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. It reminds me, uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, there was this puppet show on TV. Well, kind of. It, it, it basically was a middle-aged man doing uh, one puppet uh, at the same time as he was talking, and you could see both of them. And, uh, yeah, and, and it basically looked like that microphone. It reminds me of an old woman I'd seen stripping one time when I was 19 and went into a place. <laughs> I'm louder because I have my mic right here. See, so like this little black piece <laughs> is my microphone. She's always louder than me. <coughs> oh, by the way, do you see my beautiful eyelashes today? I tried out... Uh, honestly blindly honestly tips on fake eyelashes can you see it is it pretty it is beautiful i can't see right because if i look at the camera obviously i can't see myself so right. yeah but uh, uh especially for you see yeah i love it <laughs> we, we can't do this whole two screen thing <laughs> this is just too goddamn bizarre <laughs> Hello, uh, review with plague and more RPMs. Yeah, I'm gonna try and talk softly now. Let's try this. <laughs> I'm scared to ask the carpet stripper the mic reminds you of. Mm. Let's say the carpet matched the drapes. <laughs> the name of the animal puppet that was in my childhood was Tofik. So maybe we could call this microphone Tofik. Oh, thank you, Steph. You're beautiful too. I'm glad you noticed. Oh, you mean Xenia? Sorry. Heavy <laughs> metal magnet. Hello. Hey, what's going on? We were talking about you uh, to several people in Gas Bay, actually, yeah. about uh, what you do on your channel. I was quite fascinated, uh, people, because there are lots of people fishing there. So. I told him that the other night when he was in when we came back. But <laughs> it's always good to reiterate. I didn't. No, you didn't. That's right. I feel like I'm spying on a private conversation. Yeah, I know. I know. This is so weird. But... Yeah, Andrew, did you wash the dishes? And how about that garbage there? Is, no. is it out? <laughs> now, for the, now for the fiction segment of our show. <laughs> well, reality TV. <laughs> reality with a twist. Yeah, and welcome to my bedroom, by the way. Uh -oh. Oh, it's not mine anymore. <laughs> no, well, you're you're there. Yeah, I'm in Studio West. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm broadcasting studio. I say that because there's a radio station here, CJD 800, and there was this husband and wife team that used to have a radio show in the afternoon, and they were so pitiful. Like the, I read later it was because the husband didn't want to go downtown. They lived in the what they call the West Island suburbia. But they would call, say, like, even if they were, because sometimes she wouldn't come down either, and they would both do it from the house, and they would do, like, ones in Studio East and ones in Studio West. And basically it meant that one was, like, probably sitting on the shitter, and the other one was in the kitchen. And I always found it so mental. So. Bedroom cab confessions. There yeah. you go. There you go. Good night with Bush Studios. Yeah. That would be our new vacation time talk. I would like to do an after-hours push-up. 
and ramp everything up a little more. That means when Andrew can't fall asleep. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Christopher. I like bedroom cab confessions. Yeah. yeah. Make things a little more. Uh, In bed with Pusha. There you go. Are you getting comfy or getting sore? No, my back hurts a lot today. <laughs> yeah, this is just too weird. I think it's freaking everybody out even in the. I think we gotta. Cut no, out. I can sign off. No, we're both gonna end it in a minute. Um, it's. Uh, it was just, like I say, coming on for a few minutes, anyways. But it was good to hang with you guys tonight. It was, uh, like I say, it. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, we got our one thumbs down. Yeah, we did it before I came in. Just FYI. <laughs> no, we even got one. You know the stupid son of a bitch. Just so I could throw off the jam. Yes, I seen that too. Did that yesterday with Audrey and I. And it's not you have to like the video or anything like that. And once again, I don't care one out of how many. It's not changing our lives at all. But it just shows you in YouTube the stupidity that a person's got to put up with here sometimes. And that's why when I'm always bragging you guys up and saying, oh, we got the cream of the crop, we do. Because even with the cream of the crop, we always have some loser that goes out of their way to do this. And we know who it is. It's not hard to figure out. And it's so pointless and idiotic, and it does nothing to uh, help their cause any. It's just because they're mad at us. And it's such a, it's like so, like somebody you don't like walks by you, passes by 10 times, and then when they walk out the door, out the door you do something like totally mental, like stick out your tongue at them. It's that level of uh, stupidity. But like, you know, again, they did it with Xenia the other week when, on Father's Day when she's talking about her father who served in the, the Russian military, was murdered at 41, and put the thumb down for that one. And then yesterday, like, for instance, my daughter and I hang out the day before she goes to camp. And it just, that's the hard thing to deal with sometimes. The, the, the thumbs down doesn't fizz me, but that does, because it's just so pointless. Oh, Christopher, you're amazing. And I mean, you guys are all amazing, and I have no worries about it. It's just, there's sometimes so much childishness you have to deal with that comes with starting a channel on here that you never thought you would have to deal with. You know? Yeah, and, and Heavy Metal, we know, like, it's always on there. And there's there's usually, there's two, because these two are in cahoots, which makes it even easier. And we have other ways that makes it blatantly obvious, but I don't discuss them. I will one day when I get fed up enough. Got nothing else to talk about, and Xenia's not there to stop me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's it's just it's frustrating. It's so frustrating to deal with something. I don't mind an argument over something that has base to it, but a, nothing I can't stand more than being involved in something that's completely stupid. That's where I just get. Like, it's just pitiful really like it doesn't bother me per se but uh, just when every time i see it is yeah it's just i i more th think about the person i'm just like oh like so stupid <laughs> are yeah. you like really how pitiful it is because it doesn't bother me it doesn't influence my life doesn't make me think any less about my father or my daughter and my husband like it's so so ridiculous you know uh so it's therefore it's, it's just it's just another like ha ha like really that's all you have in your life so you know you, you know puppet gut then i really feel bad when it's something like that where there's enough of them gang up like to bring more thumbs down than up like that's not fair yeah that's that's a different story when i throw up on you like that that's a really bad thing that's that's pitiful and like arizona timeless i agree like the thumbs down is almost kind of running its course it's it's hard to wait because there is sometimes it, it 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 is needed sometimes when something is really bad. It's a way of drawing attention to it. That's really bad because then you can look at your video and say, okay, well, I see that, that where I'm going in this direction is really not working with people. But those are when reasonable people do it, and then it's not like they hate you. It's like I literally it's the old fashioned thumbs up, thumbs down, or whether they like what you're doing. Or they're telling you, and they should write something as well. Constructive helps a lot more. 
It's just well, yeah, you know, it, it does matter uh, when the proportions are upside down. Well, okay. that's what I just said for yeah. that. like that's, exactly. that's really unfair. I would actually even try to see maybe like report to YouTube sometimes maybe they mm -hmm. might be able to adjust it out for you. Yeah, I, I I agree. I would write to the support team explaining situation. Hello, Hosier. Great to see you. Hey. Yes, I'm the guest tonight. I was no I, what tonight earlier. I was drinking out of your mug actually. Yeah, he's using your mug every day now because it's yep. just the right size for water. Our beer mugs are too big. Like they're like, I don't know how much it, it is there, but no, no, uh, yours no. is just perfect. I don't know why uh, they are, but they are wasting their edge. Exactly. They're wasting yeah, it. Exactly. That's why I don't like really talk about like, like or rant about the people that do all that, no matter on our channel or other channels, because, uh, and I, I have the same opinion about life as well. Like when some, somebody does stupid things to you, uh, that they don't deserve your energy. Uh, they wasting their time. Don't waste yours. Putting you know words and and thoughts about them. Uh, it, it's just giving them more fuel, and it's just wasting your precious time and, and energy. We're, we're beating them out in every way. So like you know, we don't end up going and doing the same thing to them because we don't have to. By having an amazing channel with lots of great people into it, we have great numbers. We got monetized. We've done all these things. And to worry about one person doing something like that, or two people, if they're both on their game, it's not worth it. It just pisses me off when they do it to something like yesterday or when Xenia was talking about her dad. I mean, it's just that ch the anonymousness of social media sometimes brings out the most childish. And not even just anonymous. Like, you look at Facebook sometimes, you'll see people that you know put on rants, and you're like, how could you ever post something like that? Like, it's almost like they forget that people are actually going to read it, people that they actually know. And it's bad enough to do it anonymously, but, like, even to go that step, it, it, it brings out, it's not even an honest opinion of most of them, because most of you meet them face-to-face, -face and they wouldn't even say anything like that. It's this vent for everything else going on in their lives. So. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, Hosier, like pretty much everything in my closet is black. Like, Xenia had a hard job to get me to wear like one blue thing, and <laughs> she had to be black. Actually, he he looks amazing in red. I don't. I, I can't look like a, a fire truck. I don't like it. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, I don't know. Stuff Opal, Andrew, you look uh, beatnik ways tonight. Maybe I'll get up my bongos after him. I'm trying to mount my gray furry cat to microphone like you guys. He's not having it. And uh, passion uh, for hunting and fishing. Hello. You know how heavy metal magnet, you know what the base is for it? I'll show you. This is how well set up we were for doing live streams. This is the bracket that I put on my DJI Osmo where my light sits up on top. And it has a clamp that goes onto it. And the thing I had sitting around, actually, the first was a box, and I put this inside to weigh it down, a cardboard box. I forget it was for a wallet or something because it was just sitting there. And we used that for, I think, 30 <laughs> shows. And then I finally realized, hey, if I take it out, it will clip right on to the uh, Allen keys. And that's what's been ever since. So, yeah, eventually we'll set up, like, a Patreon or something and try and put in a little bit better. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you God. so much. Thank you. That. That's, uh, RPM, you. Reviewing Plague, and more RPM. You both have a fantastic channel. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Like we said, it's not like for the money. It's, it's just been such a long run. Like I say, in February, we had 42 subscribers, almost no watch time. And I can't believe where things have gone. And like the money, this is kind of neat tonight, like it is, but we're not pushing it. We're not even, I never even mentioned it was up there. I just, it just went through and done, and that's it. Uh, uh, Arizona posted somewhere else and then put a link for your video, uh, for your photo. Sorry. That's so cool. Camaro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sharing top picture of a topic. You, you got to share it. Can they see Tofik? Yeah. 
This is a topic that I was talking about. See, it looks exactly like our microphone. See? Isn't that cute? Oh, I tell you. Another Russian, <laughs> another Russian nightmare in the making. <laughs> yeah. So that's my mascot. <laughs> that eating a hedgehog. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever check out Mrs. Space Cadet? No. Um, As I said, uh, I'll, you weren't here. I was talking about it. Uh, actually, only today I got to the bottom of all the Twitter messages and Twitter notifications. So now we are following up with watching videos. I watched the shout out videos, uh, some of uh, the new ones. And uh, now we're proceeding further. You know, we've got to catch up on the last week. And that's what we're doing now. It looks interesting. You send me a bear squirrel. Let's see a bear squirrel. Oh, you guys are. Oh, <laughs> oh heavy, heavy metal man. You guys are crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Like I said, we're going to get set up with something soon and like probably do like some of Xenia's prints in exchange and. Oh, definitely. Uh, be prepared for beautiful prints. Yeah, you guys deserve something for it. I feel so guilty with this live chat. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's so nice of you guys. Thank you. Hey, JLRC Multimotors, how you doing? Good to see you. It was good. Uh, one of our buddies from a can, uh, Canadian, uh, oh, my God, Canadian Drones Network. Good to have you here. Also, I have a bear squirrel on the share screen. Uh, Wolfie uh, posted a bear squirrel. Amazing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, I love it, actually. I do. You, you Thank nailed you. it, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I know, Hosier, exactly, exactly. And, I mean, I just appreciate you guys. I mean, you know, what can I say? It was always been like that. That's why I had trouble even putting up the button. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. That's okay, Wolfie. You get the credit because you brought it to the table, my friend. It was super sweet stuff of heavy metal mags to do that. Wow. Uh, you guys are so nice. It's just, I feel bad because YouTube takes such a chunk out of everything. It's literally, it's 30%. Thank you. And not yeah. that we're like, oh, we're losing money. I don't mean No, that. it just feels more like a rip out for you guys. That's why. Like, I don't but, know why they couldn't have picked something like 10%, you know, to cover all costs, make a little bit onto it, and still, mm -hmm. but they always seem to. They went from nothing to, and it always then seems to go to the complete opposite side afterwards. You know? Yeah, but we'll figure something else out as we were talking about it yesterday or the last time we were on. Uh, you know, we were just fiddle, fiddling around with our yeah. new monetization options. Uh, yeah, that's why we really don't really advertise it. We have it. So the monetization um, yeah. was like getting the silver play button. Yeah. More than money. I mean, we all know the advertising is not going to pay for much. It will help push us a little bit more when we start doing our season two, and hopefully more people will come, which is great for you guys. You'll meet more people. All your channels will grow. And it felt like we accomplished something that I didn't think was possible. Because then when we got the 1,000 subscribers, still we didn't have much watch time. I think we were, what, 30,000? Yes, like yeah, yeah. We, we, we didn't have it, yeah. And then we start the live streams, and like 90 days we're at like, 295,000 or something like that minutes. It was unbelievable how things changed. And not just that, people kept coming back. You guys kept coming back. So, I mean, there's no money of owning up paying you to be here or anything like that. So there had to be some benefit for you guys, which that feels great. If you guys are benefiting, we're benefiting, and the guest is benefiting, it's a win-win for everybody. And that's all we ever wanted was something like that. Because, like I say, we didn't want to get on here and just grope and about each other's problems and stuff like that. That's not much of a watch. 
like tonight we're still on vacation mode. We're just kind of come and hang out with you guys for a bit. Yeah, it's just a hangout. <laughs> yeah. But even like that's why even the shout out nights we try to do more uh, the way it would be interesting for everybody at all times. So the person, you know, it's interactive because we play games, so it's kind of like fun. And then uh, whoever wins gets their screen time, so they benefit from that. Uh, but then at the same time, while we're talking about that channel, we also talk about YouTube optimization and, and new rules and things like that. So everybody gets information as they're watching as well. So it's, it's you know, it's not only, okay, well, I subscribed, now I'm not listening for 10 minutes. It's, you know, and people have told us afterwards it actually gives a lot of tips while they're watching the shout out video. So. I think that's the best way of doing it because it benefits everybody then, you know. I appreciate that, guys, like Camera Time and, and Puppet Gut and Hosier. And the, the thing is, is we're like, I always say it, it's not to sound modest and all. It literally, we're like 20% of it because it's the guests and you guys in the chat. Of that makes, You guys are the ones that make it somewhere that people want to come back. Uh, we yes. all, all the you guys. I mean, it's not like we're rich right now where our channel's hitting 100,000K. It's the point is, is what we got, at least if this all ended tomorrow, we can walk away and say, and you know what? We had a good time with it. We don't feel like anybody got ripped off, including ourselves as well. And because uh, once I get the new computer together, then I'm hoping to start shooting some more and putting together other videos as well and mix it up some and put more into the uh, live streams. Uh, put like up the quality for this year is kind of like the next goal. And uh, all, I wanted to say too that the chat is a big part because oftentimes, um, <laughs> oftentimes. Hosier, oh, sorry, he said, uh, "Oops, Andrew is waving around a, a big commercial." <laughs> yeah, yeah, busted. Yeah, Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> Super Bowl ad. Oftentimes, when I talk to the potential guests, you know, or somebody wants to be on, and one of the biggest. Or, or most often things they say is, oh, I'm, I'm worried, you know, being live or I'm stressed out, I don't know. And I'll, I'm always, the first thing I say, you know, how friendly and welcoming our channel is because of the chat, which often is not the case in lots of other channels, live streams, you know, there's uh, sometimes drama, sometimes just people are not supportive of each other. But in with you guys here, it somehow always gets that, you know, very friendly vibe, you know, and, and people always talk about that, the new ones that come and, and, and keep coming back. And, and that's one of the main things that I, I tell our potential guests and what makes them, you know, when they come and, and look at our live stream, they say, yeah, you know what, you were right. And it's actually so nice. It's so chill. Uh, and, and they want to come on. So definitely, you guys in the chat is a huge part of it, huge. And another huge part is the guy who just walked in while always singing his praises, Gator the Legend. Hey, hello. They've got, who, all you guys came together, and Gator was just that guy that led everything out of the truck, like unbelievable. And thank you, Heavy Metal. I, like, I think what people relate to is, is that we don't try to make this set something that's not, and... You guys are sitting and, and watching the same way we're sitting and talking and the same way the guest is talking to you as well. It's like we're all in one room together. And that's what it should be. It, very cool and relaxed. Thank you, Remy. You know, that's what it should be. Everybody's got enough problems in the day. They, it, it's not like we're perfect and, uh, oh, we have the happiest life and, oh, look, we're going to the water park. We don't do that. We tell you sometimes when we have problems, we don't share all of our problems with you. Not that I don't want you to know about it. I mean, you guys have your own stuff too. You, By the time we go on an 8 p.m., mostly in North America and Europe, I've gone through a full day of doing your own things, your own problems, your own stresses. And even when YouTube, I found, was becoming a lot of stress. You know, join now, join now, you're going to be in this. It was like enough. There's got to be some place we can all just hang out, take a breath, and just kind of shoot the breeze for a little bit. Nothing stressful, just hanging around. Thank you. Philip, hello, oh. we missed you. I we missed you. Canada, uh, drone network, it's so good you can make it in. Yeah, I even went and checked on Twitter today. If you are alive, 
because uh, I started it for you, couldn't did see you. And Wolfie still thinks the best guest we've ever had tonight, once again, is you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah you can put me in the thumbnail. Wolfie's a great example of somebody who came in a bit later, and I mean, it's not that we've been on for very long, and I mean, has become such a part of everybody here. Like, yeah, I love when that, and I love when I go to other streams and see you guys. I know some of you have met through here, and I'll drop in a stream and see you guys in and close, and now you got a wrench in their stream. Like, how amazing is that? Hey, Roger, what's going on? Canadian Drone Network, your ears must have been burning. I was just Hello. Talking about they must have finished their live stream now. Well, I just told him, I said, for, I told him and Kim for season two that you were going to, I was trying to convince you to go topless for super chat money and subscribers. If that didn't work, I was going to put on Kim's tutu. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you because he said if the wife's beside you, she's going to kill you. So I had to say, well, he's here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not right beside him. So thanks for uh, <laughs> the timing. Oh, uh, Gator, so thank, thank you so much. That. Like I Thank say, you. very, very nice. He is my god. This feels so weird. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to so, take it off soon. Yeah, I, think. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm it's, thinking. It's, it's way so too crazy. weird. No, we do appreciate that. But yes, we'll have to set up something else with this. It's, it's humbling. If I can honestly, if I can be truthful about it, it's it's humbling. Thank right. you, Gator. It's not the money. It's that. I love that people care about what we do. Illinois, God, oh my, you don't have to do that, guys. We don't, we're going to set something up a bit better later on, like I say, because the live stream doesn't generate really a revenue. So we are talking about maybe something later on to kind of build up just the mics a little bit and maybe a little mixer, a few little things. And we'll set that up as maybe a Patreon and a, or a PayPal and do stuff with some prints. I, I never want you guys to feel like you're, uh, I we never wanted from day one for you guys to ever walk away from here feeling that you were ripped off, ever. That and we have really tried to to do that, to always make sure you guys get stuff uh, for yourselves. Thank and, you, Heavy Metal Magnet, yeah. again, and thank you for coming. Uh, oh, and thank you for coffee. <laughs> and you're definitely going to be a guest soon, eh? Uh, when we get on, because I definitely want to talk to you about your. Uh, uh, yeah, and so is Vegas. living life in Illinois too. We've been yes. talking about it for a long time. Uh, no, no. Have you on our guest list? We'll set up the dates once we know when we start our season two. And guys, if you know a channel that's doing pretty good and you really think they should be on here, we should get to know them better. Like, because you guys have your own circles, especially the 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 interest channels. Please tell them to get in contact with us. And to really help us, because I know sometimes you guys, through those interest channels, you guys have like the pinnacle one that has, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 subscribers. You might know them because you go in all the time. If you can do anything to get them to get in contact with us, because I want to start getting some more people in on certain nights, but I want to keep it still the feeling uh, just to get us more, all of us more exposure. So if you can do that, please, anything would be greatly appreciated. Oh, I get a legend. Yeah, you're amazing. Yeah, this is one is not definitely the, the the quality one. We are just hanging out. We're on vacation, vacation, vacation. <laughs> and, and Monday night, guys, shout out night. Monday night, channel shout out night. It's going to be a, a hot as hell here. I forgot about it. Exactly only reminded me once I went and opened my mouth, but I'm not backing down. I want to have a marathon. Probably 7 to 11. Go at it hard, bring in as many friends as you can. Last time we shot out, I think, at 21 channels. Yeah. We'll try to fit in more this time. We had 55 in the chat. I would love to get it to 80 and have, as, if you can bring five friends each that don't usually come here, their channels will get noticed. Because even if you're just in there while we're watching other channels, people are going to be subscribing to you and that. Everybody wins. Um, Jose, Rebecca, I've definitely been blessed to just know you all. You all are true inspiration, not just to me, but many others. Thank you. I the latest video, by the way, was very uh, motivational about jumping. Uh, definitely inspirational for me. Yes. Uh, and uh, reviewing, uh, reviewing, playing, and more RPM. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you tonight. I hope you have a really great night. And uh, thank you, Philip. Thank you so much. Yeah. You guys are amazing. 
Are you gonna have uh, Steve? Steve is talking. Uh, have we talked to him before? I know the channel. I sent him a message, but he haven't answered. He seen my Twitter. He liked it, but he never answered my tweet. So I don't know. I'll try again. Um, I just did it yesterday, I think. Uh, T. Srog said, "I remember when Andrew started to throw wrenches. If you can dodge the wrench, you can dodge a ball." <laughs> Oh my God! You guys know our lives better than we do. <laughs> yes, he is good, and I have noticed him before through. Um, well, I, I I wrote to him because it was quite interesting. <laughs> I I I seen him from different. He's a Potter and family, a part of Potter and family, which he loves and heathens and Juliet Miranda is part of that as well because he has a podcast. So I heard about him from Helos and Heathens first, and then Juliet posted some stuff that was a while ago. And then uh, No Small Creator, uh, Cody's uh, community, was uh, like talking about him too. And then you tweeted me his stuff as well. So it, I, that's what I was wrote to him, that I basically heard from three different places about him. So uh, it's funny how it all combined into one, you know, at the same time. Techor, uh, thank you so much, that's, uh, and hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for coming. And living life in Illinois, no, Xenia wasn't feeling so well today. And then she decided to join the chat, but remotely. So we have we are in the same house. She's in our bedroom, so we have- Yeah, we're, I'm in the bedroom um, today. <laughs> I was uh, considering going or not on live today, but uh, I just miss you guys too. So I thought we'll join you from the bedroom. Oh, I... well, guys, I guess it's about that time. It's been a really great, I can't believe we got super chats. That still boggles my mind. Yeah, living life, Illinois. <laughs> this is part of Xenia's humor, that her charm that won me over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else really to say about it. <laughs> you never quite know what is there to come. <laughs> God bless you too, Living. I mean, you guys are all amazing. I I am thankful for every one of you. You guys, each and every way, with every like, with every comment in the conversation, uh, with every conversation that you have with other people in here and have grown, and like I say, seeing you in other chats and that with people, it's been so rewarding, the live streams, because I never seen the point in live streaming. I never got it. I always thought they were the most pointless things on YouTube. I didn't get it. I'll be the first to say it. I just, it, because I put a lot in my videos, a lot, it's all about editing. And that's where my passion is in for it. And I just couldn't get the live stream thing. To me, it always, what else do I say? It seemed like the fast way out. I take that back. And now that I've been on the other side, it's anything but, especially when you're doing it six nights a week. It's a full time job. But the rewards have come out of this, it's been unbelievable. Like we have 1,840 roughly or 1,845 subscribers, something like that. Our watch time minutes are great. And we're monetized. <laughs> you can only imagine how many cents we've brought in so far. And yet I feel like the richest person in the world for having this. Because we have people that actually come in and say, oh, you haven't been on two days. I hope all is well. God, I hope you guys are going to be on soon. I love watches. My nights aren't the same uh, that you guys are at live stream. I mean, if you don't feel better after hearing stuff like that, there's something desperately wrong with you. And you guys make me feel amazing in that. Um, so it's been nothing but rewards. It's been really cool. It's been such an amazing experience. I'm really looking forward to the next season and getting everything rolling, uh, upping it up a little bit. But we don't want to turn it into some fake studio. We don't want to make it look more or less. We always want to feel like we're all just sitting together in a room talking with somebody. I didn't either. I wasn't big on editing, but the live stream is really a good way to connect and get. Exactly, Remy. Exactly. Peter McKinnon said something that yeah, he was telling Cody Wanner when they did that video the other day. He said, the first time I met Casey, Casey said something that really stuck to me. And he said, people will remember interactions way more than pretty pictures. And how true is that? Like, that makes so much sense. 
You can have all the cinematography in the world, all the great drone shots, all the great high-end camera shots with a gimbal. But without interaction, there's no story. And without no story, there's nothing to it. And you can shoot it with you can shoot a story without words. And I do. Like I've seen that shooting videos, and that's why I put a lot of time in the editing, because I want I don't want words in those videos. I love that people can write in the comments and actually get what I was trying to express in all of it. But it is key. With a conversation is everything to connecting with people. Val's life. Hello, hello. My Good goodness. And Dorito, the <laughs> always, always squirrel, squirrel bear smash the damn button. That's right. And uh, I'm sharing the picture of Arizona Timeless Tourist, um, a picture of the sandstorm they just took. Uh, can you see it? Yes, that is so cool. That is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for sharing it on uh, our Twitter. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. I love when you guys share stuff like that. And please do send us stuff on Twitter that you're working on, your videos, your pictures. Uh, we're also on Instagram and everything. Keep in touch with us. We love seeing what you guys are doing. Oh, Remy Moore, uh, uh, Keith Rogg said Remy Moore enjoyed your music in St. Otto's video the other day. Oh, that's so cool. Excellent. They're another channel supporting a lot of people and stuff like that in the right way. And, you know, we're all in this together, guys. Mm -hmm. And that's why it bothers me when I see, like, you know, all these petty arguments and stuff like that. Start over now. I just want to grow with all of you. Like Cody, I'll, I'll give you a great example with Cody Wanner. 2.8K subscribers in January. He was our guest, what, on three weeks ago? Yeah. Roughly. Mm -hmm. He gets on Peter McKinnon. Peter McKinnon likes what he does, invites him to drive all the way up from Philadelphia to Ontario to shoot a video with him. And he's up to 18.6 thousand subscribers. In two days. Two days. Yeah. You know, and this is a guy that has 2.2 million subscribers. And he did it to prove a point that nobody's too big to be able to collab with other people. You got to just like what they do. And I see some channels sometimes like that have 100 subscribers. I see their work and it just sickens me how that it's like a crime. They're being robbed of, of some amazing content. Who is it? Within When I found that time, was it within hiking distance? Yes, uh, them, and then it was also uh, ha uh, Happy Trails Happy Hiking. Trail. There's a couple of them. Uh, well, also Natural Journey only had yeah. like 500 subscribers. There's I mean, lots of channels like that. That's awesome content and, and almost like very little uh, subscribers. Numbers is nothing. And hopefully Cody's and, and, and uh, Peter's uh, collab showed that. And, uh, we oh my god we're so excited for cody uh because you know yeah. it's so it's so amazing when somebody who actually and I, as i was commenting on his uh last vlog too like it's not uh it wasn't luck he was working for it he he knew what he wanted and and you know he was working hard every day for it it wasn't like oh you know it's all of a sudden just happened peter mckinnon picked him up no you know, look at the videos that he were posting, you know, to get his attention. Look at the videos every day that he has been doing. And mind you, he only started vlogging on the 1st of January. And he has a full-time job and he vlogs once exactly. a, a video once a day. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you got to work. You can't just think, well, something is going to happen all of a sudden and then I'm going to be big and do all these things. No, like Cody said himself, like, you got to work now and then you're ready when it happens, like it happened to him now. And also, you got to work towards your goal, you know, not just somewhere and do something and hope for the best the stars is going to come down on you. Work towards what you want to happen. That's exactly what Cody did. And, you know, like he said, 192 days later, uh, that's exactly what happened to him. I mean, two videos on his own vlogs uh, with Peter, Peter's own vlogs on Peter's channel. 
And uh, I don't know if any of you are part of uh, a No Small Creator a hashtag as well. They are very supportive and very like happy for each other people. It's more like a masterclass more thing than it is subscription part. And uh, he did a live stream on their Facebook group, a private live stream with Peter McKinnon where people were able to ask questions directly to Cody or to Peter while they were on just for those, you know, 50 or whoever people were there at the time. How awesome is that? You know, and everybody's happy. One, one person got out now and, and kudos to Cody and everybody else is happy for him. Truly, genuinely happy. And this is what it should be about. It should be about supporting each other, being happy for each other's successes, you know, not putting dislike because you have some kind of stupid grudge, you know. It's not what it's about. Life is full of drama. Yeah. Uh, you know, this was example of what it should about, be like what it should be about. So. <coughs> I was just showing Peter's uh, channel a bit. Like, that's why, and too, this is another part that I've had to listen to is going to some channels and all it is is just bashing the big guys. First of all, they don't owe a living the same as any band that makes it big. They worked hard to get there. This guy got 1 million subscribers in nine months, but he also spent seven years going around and, and working as a phot uh, photographer for musicians traveling all over the world with them and before that he worked in camera stores he's been constantly like perfecting his uh talent and look what he did he didn't own any or uh, owe anybody for doing that he did it because he wanted to see his, his shots are epic by the way like we we're talking tonight in the canadian drone network if you haven't checked out peter mckinnon you really got to see his work especially his stuff here like a couple of months ago he like the he has this amazing vlog that's also like so cinematic. His shots are just like nothing but epic work. He has a, uh, he takes it to a whole new level. That's why Casey Neistat hooked up with him after he got a million subs, and by doing that, he almost took Peter up to another one, what six hundred thousand? Yeah. And it's uh, Casey Neistat. I'm not his biggest fan. I don't mind him, but he's not a stupid man. He sees where the next trends are coming. So this guy was an eighth of what he had at the time but he realized this guy's got talent he's going to go somewhere why sit there and put him down and and say oh he's a, just garbage instead what did he do he went and collaborated with him in that and it actually helped casey's numbers as well that's that's what the big guys do they don't sit there and knock everybody else down they work together I mean, really, if somebody wants to call up with you you don't say no because <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the whole point of it is to network the same as in life you know yeah. it's just so foolish to uh, uh yeah <laughs> it's not where oh did i vanish did you vanish or could you see me oh i forgot to stop sharing okay sorry that explains it <laughs> um hosier was asking how do you do the black screen can you show them the black screen? Yeah, the nighttime view. Oh, okay, okay, yes. Sorry, I had to think for a second. Uh, yeah, I thought we were talking about like an effect or something like here. I'll put up screen sharing. It's actually not very hard. I love the night. I keep it on all the time just because I like it. I find it easier in the eyes. And I always like con contrast. So it's as simple as going here and your top. Uh, and the drop down menu, dark theme on. Shut it off. And there you go. So once again, I took off of it, click here, and just go down to dark theme. I don't know, I just like the contrast better. I find it easier on the eyes, especially if you're working on a computer. You you never did Wolfie? Um really like uh, casey's great like I, and i like casey a lot but like peter's just there's something about him he's out if i had to pick up the two it's definitely where i'm a peter guy but i mean casey revolutionized everything even people that hate on him and it's like do you know what that guy went through <laughs> like back when there was nothing really to be made into it he kind of rev 
like evolved vlogging. It's kind of like Randy Rhodes of vlogging, I guess would be the best way to put it. Yeah. You know? Uh, never hate on those guys. Learn from them. You know? Uh, it's easy to just hate on people. And it's not that some of the big ones don't deserve it. Like, I always say, like, Jake Pauls and those guys, what do I say? They're like boy bands. Yes, they got money to be put in there. They were all taken care of. It's not like they worked their ass off to be there. But unfortunately, like any other industry, you're always going to have stuff like that. But when you take guys like Peter and all them, I I don't like when people kind of throw them all in the mix. It's like all big guys are bad. Like another channel I haven't brought up in a while. Let's see here. This is one of my favorite channels. Xenia, as soon as I said that, she knew where I was going already. This And actually, you know, Canadians have done quite well in the online YouTube industry. This is another Canadian channel. They're out of BC, and they're called Linus Tech Tips. And long story short, there's a Canadian company that just went bankrupt, a computer company, and um, the, he worked for them. And they wanted to start making videos back in like the, around 2008, maybe 2009. And they started making some videos. They realized they were really expensive out of th after three or four. So then they said, well, how about we name it after you, which is Linus. We'll call it Linus Tech Tips. And that way we can do them cheaper version because they're not connected with the store's name. And, you know, you'll still be involved with it. And he did it for a couple of years. And then he realized the company was starting to have troubles. A lot of computer companies ended up getting into by 2010. So in 2013, he bought the rights to it. He made an exchange with the business. They had a couple of store locations. And he went off on his own. He had no startup money. Uh, he had taken interns for a little bit. Then this YouTube channel is at 6.3 million. And the studio that this guy got. I know the first part was uh, first part was six thousand square feet, and they've either doubled it or more since then. And they have twenty plus employees now working for them, and they've grown so much that they've actually invented their own platform now because they realized with YouTube it could flop at any minute on them. And they've invented their own platform called Floatplane, and they're inviting these tech guys in, and you pay three dollars a month to see exclusive content with them and that. And it just shows you how anybody can grow anything. I mean, could you imagine growing your YouTube channel to have over 20 employees? It's it's phenomenal. Um, I Because I, Justine, was just on as a guest. And she did a studio tour. Oh, I just seen the video. I'll get you here. There. And I'm not going to go through all of it. But, like, you'll see all the multiple sets that they have in this place. And they have sets for all their different shows. They have uh, three active channels. This one here. And then they have Tech Quickie, which is a shortened down version where they do, uh, like, four-minute videos on tech and stuff like that. And that's got over, I think, now two million some. Maybe even close to three. I mean, it's unbelievable. And he took big chances. There was no guarantees into it. You know, he had two kids, like he said, that were staying at his father-in-law's at the time. And he used to have just couldn't sleep at night. This is between the set where all the fake uh, flowers and all that stuff. And, I mean, this place is massive now. It's just you got to work at stuff. But there is, and it's not saying that everybody wants to get rich at it. Like, the channel has 870 million views. No, it, it's it's unbelievable. And then there's uh, un. You guys have probably seen Unbox Therapy. There's a Canadian channel that just hit ten million about what two months ago, and now he's over eleven. He's he's getting ready to crack twelve. And what did he do since the beginning? Just it's all based around just opening products, and talking about it with a character. You know, he's got a lot of energy, a lot of dynamic. So there's lots of opportunities out there, and anybody can do it. 
Well, guys, it's been fun chatting with you and be inspired. And the same that ties all back into Cody. Look how much everything shot off. Put your best foot forward on YouTube because you never know when your chance is to step up to the plate. Cody has a full time job, and what did he do when Peter called him? He jumped in his car and drove up there all the way to Canada. He had a long drive, you know. And uh, is that you, hon, or me? Where? Uh, there was a sound coming. It sounded like muffled speakers. Uh, I don't know. I, I was typing, so maybe that's what it was. Have a great night, guys. You're all <laughs> stars. You all do fantastic work. Thank you for everybody in here that's been our guest already. And who's not been, I hope that you guys will be our guests coming up very soon. And, uh, uh, yeah, I wanted to mention just for a moment that Philip is going to start his new series tomorrow. I'm going to post a new video about his dad that passed away, uh, I think, a month ago now. Uh, so definitely go and check it out tomorrow morning. That will be very cool. And Yankee just walked in. Sorry, Yankee. We we're not even supposed to be on tonight, and we went a bit later than... But Monday night, guys, invite all your friends. Please invite all your friends. We're going to have a shout-out night to get back in this. It's going to be hotter than hell here in Montreal. I opened my big mouth without knowing that at the time. But bring lots of friends. Everybody's channels jump. Uh, you know, I've heard people jump up as many as 40, 50 subscribers just by being there. So it's nothing but opportunity. The more friends you bring, the more everybody brings friends. Everybody's finding new channels. Everybody walks out a big winner. Uh, Monday night. I don't know. Maybe we'll pop on for a bit Sunday, but Monday night will be the... Yeah, check out our, our Twitter or on uh, YouTube. And Philip, well, we can do a collab. Not so far. Yeah. <laughs> you need the cameraman. Well, we can figure something out. <laughs> Oh, ben oh, hey, Benjamin, how you doing? You just came in. Uh, oh, and, and sorry, uh, Toy Man was here as well. Toy Man, we're going to get in touch with you really soon as well. You're one of the first in the list. I'm so excited about that one. Uh, Benjamin, I was just my, our daughter left this morning for camp and uh, our seven-year-old and yeah. Oh, Val, you're on tomorrow night at seven. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Definitely check out Val. And Yankee will be on Monday night, 7 o'clock. And I try and do four hours. If we can get enough people in here from all different places, we'll go for four hours. It's supposed to be like, I don't know, 43 degrees, I think, Celsius with the humidity. Yep, at least. So we're going we're gonna to look like some of those old preacher uh, TV shows from years ago where they'd be wiping off with the hanky there and still say, we're going to get this done. We're going to get a few more hugs in. It's going to be fun. So tell all your friends. And we'll give you guys, uh, as we always do, we'll send it out early on Twitter, and you can tweet it out. The more friends we all bring, guys, the more everybody wins. And uh, we had 55 last time in the chat. We almost never went under 42. I'd love to try and get it up to, like, 80 this time. That's right, Val, it is. Especially, where I know it's sexist. I'm sorry, but I got two older boys, and I love them dearly, and I worry about them when they're gone, of course. Something about when your little girl goes on a bus, and she's the light of this place. Like she's so much, uh, her energy is bright, so you can feel it already. Like kind of like like you can feel her presence missing. So I know, I know, dad yapping on. <laughs> uh, next Friday she's home. Yes, yeah. it's gonna be a long, long week. Yep. So you guys have to put up with us a lot. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to entertain us till she comes home, take our mind off, babysit us. So, so yeah, I hope you guys are there Monday night. I really want to boost your channels for you. Have some fun, have some laughs. We'll play the game like we do. Call out two letters. The first person to type those two letters, their channel gets called. I still believe it's the best way to do it because then nobody leaves the channel because they don't want to miss the next round. There's no way. Plus, you get some more education through it as well because we do give some tips and tricks and people are putting their input as well. So, Yeah, exactly. Yankee, like you as well, you become such a dear friend to us. Like, that's what I was saying a while ago. You know, it's great that we got montage. We're very proud of it. We worked hard to get there. But like the friends we've made and the people we've gotten to talk to, <laughs> there's no money 
that could ever replace how amazing experience has been. Because we have problems too. I mean, we have real lives just like you guys when this is all shut down. So it's nice to have that uh, a great distraction, not in a bad way. It's a great distraction. And that's what our channel was based around, to be a distraction. Not to be the, the pull-in that we felt was going on, because there's enough of that in real life already. There's a time and a place for stuff like that, but we just didn't feel we could do it justice. The only way we felt we could do this live stream properly was to do what we do. Just all feel like we're sitting in a room talking. And um, I don't know. I still believe that, that those meetings with people really pay off in the long run because people keep coming back and they give better responses. They're more connected to you because they got to know you so much better. And life with Ken and Jane, you're out of the woods again. I see your message. We were out of the woods. We were in the woods as well. We had no internet connection or nothing. We were working on the house. So, so good to have you back. And uh, hope you guys can make it Monday night. Oh, thank you, Philip. It's, Xenia took the picture, but it's one of my favorites. It, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I don't like being in pictures too often, but that one means a lot to me. Guys, have a fantastic night. Be well. Love you all. So glad to have you back. Thank you for waiting for us, and thank you for being happy that we're back. It really does mean a lot. And uh, I'll pass it off to you, hon. Yeah, just uh, see you all on Monday, uh, hot and sticky. Uh, Monday, shout out with Busha Studios. We're going to be back for a little bit. Uh, catch us. Um, ring that bell. If it rings, you're going to see the notification. Uh, if not, um, look out for a tweet or come on, 7 p.m. at Monday. Watch us fry in the heat. It'll be a good laugh on top of it. So, Yes. <laughs> Love you guys so much. You take care. Be well. Terrell, thank you. Good to have you back at the wrench. Uh, cheers, guys. Keep creating. Love you all. Love you. Bye.